Okay. All right. Hi again. Um. <laughs> how's it going, everybody? Uh. Sorry for the delay. Um. As you can tell, we're not in the game because I loaded it up onto the episode screen. The reason why is because, um, well, let's just say I had all of episode three done. Like, I went through the entire chapter. And I had four videos out of it. And it was really, really good. It was funny. I felt like it was just, like, one heck of a time. It was great. And then I listened back to it to make sure everything was fine. And it sounded really odd. Um, the audio I had apparently went to my microphone on my headset. Not onto the microphone I'm actually using right now. And the thing is, it's you could still understand what I was saying, but it sounded very tinny. And I'm not going to lie, it's not fun to listen to something that you could just sit there and just go, wow, that really could have been better. So, I had to scrap all four of the episodes. And start over. So, unfortunately, I've seen this whole chapter, so unfortunately, nothing's really going to be new to me. But hopefully for you guys, it's still entertaining. Hopefully I can still keep some of the fun jokes I had, and hopefully it's still a fun time for you guys. But yeah, it, uh, it, um, you know what, it, we'll just jump into it. Alright, episode three. <sighs> yeah, and there's both of the parts. Oh, man. Alright, on the run. Wait, is this trick my mobile written? Are you sure? Wait, hold on a second. Now I'm thinking about it. Please, 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 please. Mirror Peak. On the run. Oh, shoot. I'm really trying to remember which one came first and which one was later. I think the cops showing up was... Oh, sorry. Spoiler. Cops are going to show up. Yeah, I think this is first. Previously on Alan Wake. Alice yeah, we're good. has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So... Dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. <sighs> Sorry. How the hell did she get her my, hands uh, on the manuscript anyway? I don't drink? know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Oh, I forgot that it's actually happened. Quick, huh? I forgot that the FBI agent was after Help them. you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Hi, Randolph. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? No, she's Rose. not. <laughs> sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I yeah. heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. Mm -hmm. And, get mm -hmm. this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Yeah, that place just well, seems to be a bad place. Wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, mm -hmm. some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Mm -hmm. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so mm -hmm. that the place came oh, to yeah, by way, boat. Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. 
Come yeah. on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Would have been a damn shame if that boat had hit a trailer. Do, do, do. All right, uh, Randolph, um, if we can move a little faster, that'd be good. I forgot how slow he moves. Man, before I had this, like, whole bit of, like, you know what? I'm just going to run over to the gate and then have, it, like, I got held up by the gate because I had to wait for him to open it. it, it whatever. I'm going to stop reflecting on the past. Ugh. It's so annoying. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger. Sup, Jagger. Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. Yeah. The scratch and hag. Yes. Comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. It's still silly anyway, to me. Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. Oh, what, crazy. The lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway. She knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now the dialogue's done, so you know what, let's just go ahead and run on up. Hopefully... Oh, no, it doesn't let us do that. We have to... Randolph, I mean, I understand walking's hard, but please move a little faster well, with Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Yep, that's all we're here to do. Just talk to her. Bye. Look at this trailer. Once again, Rose, you have a nice trailer. Hello, knock knock. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good. Yeah, because Rose makes amazing Rose. coffee. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Oh, good night. Barry. What? Rose, of course you would drug the coffee. You didn't serve us a latte, so I knew something had to be wrong. <gasps> coffee shot. Ugh. It's coming for you. Oh boy. Hiding in my barber's skin. Huh? I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Uh oh I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Hello, creepy old lady. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Right then. See, that's a freaky shot right there. Back to work, boy. Oh boy. All right, so I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Yep. Oh. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. Mm -hmm. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows she more does. of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. So all right. So, yeah, when I was playing this original episode, um, yeah, I made, like, notes about the books that she has and oh, the creepy pictures of Alan here. And all these, like, different bookshelves and all that stuff. And you know what? Who cares? We're going to keep moving forward. We have been here for a long time. Rose took time. a day from me. 
I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Hi, Rose. How you doing? Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much mm -hmm. hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First mm. refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Poor Rose. It's nice. I'm not gonna lie, this is a nice little trailer. The very fact that it has an island here and most and some apartments don't even have that, which is really bad. Barry was out of Barry. it. He was way too heavy to carry. You haven't tried. <laughs> You're right. I deserve more money. So handsome. Nice. <laughs> Alright, away we go. Out this way. Cool. My gun and flashlight were gone. Mm -hmm. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Alright, so... Oh, wait. What the... Did... Wait. Did I not pick that up last time? Oh, no, 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 no. no I did. Okay. Sorry, spoilers again. Yeah, so, hey, good thing for you guys. You won't have to sit here and listen to the manuscript pages this time. I pretty much gathered most that I could find. Pretty sure there's more, but, uh. All right, we came this way. There was the radio show, which I already heard, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that. We're going to keep moving. Was it this button? Yeah, it's this button. And we go this way. High boat. And, yep, this way. Hello? I gotta get the... Oh, hi, Randolph. Are you here to help us? Spoiler alert. Doesn't look like he's here oh, to help us. Oh, you're gonna us. get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicole Yep. Uh, yeah, this was. I hated so. to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. All right, way we go. All right, this is it? yeah, it's this way. We running down the trench way, running down the trench way. Oh my god, I keep on pointing this out as well for Alan. He really needs to do some cardio, man. La 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 la. No. Woo! Oh, that was a sad turn off. <laughs> Stop running! There he goes! You see nothing. Okay, man. Keep Woo! Ah! How about the bullets? Whee! Ah! All right, so they're still using their flashlights to see if they can find me. Woohoo! Now imagine that was as e that was the level of difficulty it took to actually escape from the cops. Not only the cops, the FBI agent. I figured they would have more resources than this. Granted, running it around in the forest is kind of hard to track. Oh, wait, on manuscript page. Boop! Looks like I already read this one, so bye! Oh boy. Oh. Hey, oh, yeah, I didn't listen to all this, though. What on earth is going on? My deputies tell me he fired at Wake and he didn't have a gun. You almost hit a civilian instead. Over. 
Yes. Fugitive? Wait, did I miss something? Yeah, 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 yeah. God light. Anyway, let's keep moving. Oh. Well, they're over there. Yeah, definitely search the area. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the darkness. Police had a good time with that. Oh, well, there goes my light. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider, not a monster. Oh, hey, another car. Wait, hey, geek writer. Jerks. I am a very handsome writer. I'm not a geek. Eh, who am I who am I kidding? Also, yeah, the very fact that we're like running around in the forest in hard soled shoes and a tweed jacket is definitely weird. Not gonna lie. Figured that he would have packed something else on his trip up to friggin' Bright Falls. Oh, 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 oh. There they are. Hello there. You on the ground. Hold it right there. Die. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Holy shit, dude. I didn't even realize that. They're using a fucking shotgun. Oof. Well, that's not good. Birds got him. Uh oh. Uh oh, there oh there it goes. Uh oh. Oh. Woof. Walk it off, guys. You'll be fine. Maybe not. All right, found this thing. All right, up we go. Maybe I can find some stuff here. Oh, 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 something on fire. Let's use it. All right, and boop. Yup. Yup. That's, uh, that's no bueno. I don't think they're going to be walking on and off. Unfortunate. I think that's also the place where we have to go, though. I think that was the radio station. I think that's where we're headed. No, 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 no. We're headed to uh, the um, Mirror Peak, right? Uh, this is Jane. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, the Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were... Hey, what, what you... Come on. Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, 
Dick's gonna want to interview Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. All looking out. Yeah. Oh, damn it. So there wasn't anything here. It was more like flavor text. Aw. Oh, that's okay. Not, not bad. Uh, was the reason to look through this guy again? I don't remember. Right, that is where I had to get going. I had to get to the radio station, I can see so the right over there. The radio station in the distance. Ah, Jesus Christ, so touchy. But yeah, radio station, which is literally called radio station. All right, away we go. Let's get on over the radio station. Ugh. So, no gun, no flashlights, still just us right now. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Mm hmm Alright, well, and... Round cue. Do not touch the gate. Apparently it's evil. Natural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Mm-hmm. Which is right, just so you guys know, it's right there, but uh, there's a thing over here that you need to do first, because currently it's not working. Boop. Right, we got it moving. We got it going, power's getting to it. Let's see if it'll let me use it. Sweet. And it's broken. Alright, well, away we go. Now we can go through the evil gate. Whoa. And this way. I keep forgetting I could do this. I don't know why. I'd just rather my characters be on the left and I can look over the right shoulder. Ugh, it's so much easier. The other way around just makes me sick. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel right. Would you look at that? Another gate that's going nuts. I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. Oh, wow, the gate. Pop. And... Pop. Away we go. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Sweet. Team one, come in. Oh. Over. Uh, I don't think Team One's here anymore. One, I don't think they're coming. Be calling back. Team two, come in. I, need a report. Over. I don't think Team Two's around either. Uh, yeah, um, Sheriff, they're, they're not around. Uh, tornado hit, and, uh, they're not doing too good. Hey, y'all. Woo! Alright. If I'm not mistaken, but the very fact that the teams aren't here... Yep! Come here, come here, come here. And pop. Woo! Oh, cool, I got a trophy. Sweet! Oh, I got another trophy. Nice. Weird, I didn't get those last time. Hmm. Oh, God! A little startling. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. There's the godlight right there. We're almost there. Flashbangs. Give me all the flashbangs. Alright. Was there anything else over here? I don't think there was. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, 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 oh. Batteries. And away we go. Right, I think I remember this. Yep, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. You're in the way. Huh. 
Yeah, that didn't go that well last time. <laughs> took me a... Uh, took it like two tries to get through that last time. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's keep moving. Oh, more darkness. Here we go. Where are they? Let's see your big rocks. Open area. They're behind me. They're behind me. They're behind me. They're behind me. They're behind me! Go away. Listen, guys, you don't have to be here. Go away. Woohoo! Oh boy, can't run. Can't run, and we're going through the forest. Alright, we're just gonna. Okay. Dude, seriously, cardio. Really need to consider it. Uh, fine. God. Just a waste of a flashbang, I swear. And let's go. And let's move. And let's move. And let's move. Sweet! We found the lights. Oh, hi, more people. Hi, friends. Oh. Not what so I was looking for, but okay. Just need to get inside. Just need to get inside. Just need to get inside. Thank you. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Woo. Someone's got some, like, fucking societal issues, man. Jesus Christ. Old school lady there. Hello? Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Alright. What's up, dude? Gladly. Come on in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Dude, what the hell is <laughs> There's a civilian in there. Wow, oh, dude, this game was, like, made for me. Judas Priest, Dan Brown. Like, I love this game. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I just lost my flashbangs again and my flashlight. That's fun. And now I'll hand out Lovecraft. I off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. All right. Well, oh, all right. I think this is a good place to stop for next time. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.